Hi, hello, good evening, and welcome to the initiative order. This is Midnight in the Marshes. I am Miguel. My pronouns are they, he. I will be your GM this evening. Joining me are four amazing players, and let's take an opportunity now to go around the table, introduce ourselves, and uh, let our lovely folks at home know who who our characters are, what kind of, we'll say character name, playbook, uh, and critter type. And let's go, you know what, I'm going to go in the same order we did last time because it's easy and it's on my screen in front of my face. So kicking us off is Christian. Hey, hey, hi everybody. Hey, what's up? Hi, hi. Bring it in, bring it in. Hey, hi. Uh, hi, my name is Christian, aka Fluffy Boomba on socials. Find me here on Twitch whenever I want to stream. Uh, Sundays on Total Party Kiss, uh, Thursdays on Roll for Dylan for Vampire the Masquerade and D and D. Uh, and I'm, 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 it's been, it's been two weeks. It's been, it's been a lot. It's been a, it's been, so I'm like, who was I? What, what am I? What did I do? I'm playing Blitz Lombardi, Prince. Pronouns he him, and my pronouns are he him. And that's it for me. Right on, right on, right on. Blitz, and then moving down the line over here. It looks like it is Isabel Stern. I don't know. Where uh, hello, <laughs> hello everyone. I'm Isabel. Uh, my pronouns are they, he, she, whatever you feel like. Uh, I am playing Felix Faustus, a thief and a fox. Uh, Felix's pronouns are he, they. Good old Felix. Always Steven. All right. Uh, third up here, let's talk about Sabina. Who hey. I'm Sabina, uh, Alfalfa Centauri on the socials, uh, and I am playing a little squirrel named Beatrice Fleet Cheeks, and we both use she, her pronouns. Excellent. Awesome. Amazing. Thank you. And rounding out the group, let's talk about Nate. Sure. Hi, Internet. Uh, I am Nate. Today I am playing good old mouse ranger playbook, uh, Rankle Razortooth. Uh, pronouns he, him, as mine. Uh, and yeah, it's only been two weeks, but it feels way longer. So I'm super excited to dive back into this with our award nominated, and by the way, Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, we're bragging about you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Um We're really bragging about ourselves when we brag about you now. It's, yeah, it's yeah. really y'all. <laughs> y'all are the ones making all the making all the magic happen. So thank you. I'm very excited, very stoked to be at this table playing with you all. You're very wonderful people. Um very excited to be telling the story with you. So without further ado. Where is our story? What have we done? We began our last session on a boat uh, named the Lady Steelwind, a vessel operated by Captain Commodore Andy of the River Folk Company. But when he's, you know, only uh, commanding his own ship, he still likes to be called Captain, right? Because that is, that's how he rolls. Um, we were coming down to the clearing of Gramble's log, departing from Carlota's keep at the behest of an old friend, Bale Froggington, that is incorrect. Uh, here we go, Bale Watercrest, former freedom fighter turned fishing crew captain, actually captains or heads up three different ships. Uh, very successful enterprise he's got. You all know Bale because you were homies together uh, during the liberation of Gramble's log, uh, clearing cast off um, you know, the, the control of the airy dynasties and his chosen self-rule, the denizens here dabbling in this newfangled thing called democracy, uh, where they elect people to be in charge of the clearing their lives themselves or run everything, right? You've got, y'all have been gone about a year, maybe. Uh, you've returned to tense times as recently several denizens of Gramble's Log have gone missing, with no clue as to where they've gone, 
how they are. Are they alive or dead? Did a bear eat them? Did pirates take them? Is something creepy lurking in the marshes around Gramble's log? People are believing in demons, apparently, uh, even though I keep telling them demons aren't real. Um, we talked to Bale. He gave us the skinny on who's missing. That led us to the glitz and gram glamour. The glitzy grammar. Brought to you by Grammarly. Sign up with the code initiative order and get 10%. <laughs> it's not, that's not real. Uh, Grammarly will not give you a discount if you mention us or me or anyone. Um, Cleo, the proprietor of the Glitz and Glamour, a fun, curious little trinket shop, uh, turned, turned out she was dealing in much more than just trinkets, was able to provide y'all with a lot of useful information regarding the town, including some potential smuggling. You also heard that one of the missing crew folk, probably heard this from Bale, actually, Glenda Strong River, a frog, went missing one night after she left the Laughing Demon, a tavern here in the clearing of Gramble's Log, on the way to uh, see her parents late at night, her parents being a little bit elderly, say a little bit, being on the older side, living uh, kind of at the outskirts of the clearing, you know, Glenda being the, the good child that she is, um, bring them food, water, you know, things like that, tell them stories, tuck them in, uh, change the firewood, that kind of stuff, right? Um, never seen from again after she took off for there. So we uh, pick up as we have, I believe we're leaving the glitz and glamour, unless anyone has any last minute convos they'd like to pick up with Cleo, with really, you know, the day ahead of you, we'll say it's mid-morning by now, right? If I said different last time, then too bad. We are retro-conning that. Time is my plaything in this game. So, tough shit. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we're leaving the clear. We're leaving the glitz and glamour. Um, what are y'all getting into? Um, should we go to check out the inn, or talk to the guards what do you what do y'all think well uh, have we decided if we want to uh, uh rest there or rest at the uh, place that um they offered us to rest or do we want to just buy a place to sleep hospitality um money you know i'm uh not too keen on uh demon in uh it's just something. a name <laughs> It's yeah, did we all know demons aren't like, real? We kind of heard like... like a lot of stories about how demons are, uh, you know, out to get us and evil and, uh, you know, they... sleeping. Mm. I mean, uh, I know, uh, Rankle, you wanted to stay there so that we could get maybe some intel, right? Well, I mean, of course, I'm into both humor and. I don't mind. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know that about you. Yeah. Two things I didn't know about you. Huh? You can tell by how insufferable he is. Yeah, he's a real funny guy, you know. Makes jokes. Has his jokes. Tell us what joke right now. One spot. Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> that was a good one. Uh, a classic uh, anti-humor uh, kind of joke there. It's an acquired. <laughs> uh. I say uh, no in, but uh, you know I'll, I will defer uh, to the will of the group. Um, as long as uh, you all promise uh, to watch out for demons that will steal us in our sleep. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Might not also be a bad idea. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking maybe since we're in town now, let's talk to the people at the inn first, then guards at the gate, and then see if we can go to Let's just try to follow her path. Yeah, right. we can look for clues, kind of like, you know, signs of a struggle or something. Or just see if anyone heard anything or remembers anything weird that happened that night. Um, yeah, so we're going to, what is it, the laughing demon? <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. The Laughing Demon. We're headed to the uh, Laughing Demon. I it's think. a comedy I don't know if we're gonna... club. 
The Laughing Demon is definitely like a dock, we'll say, you know, like Harbor District sort of um, establishment. It is both a tavern and an inn, yes. It's, you know... <clears throat> Sorry, I was going to cough and then I didn't. I, hate that. I don't know if that was good or bad. Well, self care. You gotta watch out. You gotta watch out for that. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate self care: drinking water. After. Uh, it's so <laughs> it's so hard sometimes. I'll be honest. <laughs> I'm just like, did I do that today? <laughs> I relate to that. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, it, very popular established among the the fisher folk the dock workers etc here in Gramble's log so this time of mid morning it's probably not quite open i mean the inn part will be i suppose they do serve food as well um but you know take that as you will most of the usual clientele will be out at sea or out at lake yeah right now or busying themselves uh doing this thing with, with rope or something yeah a lot of you know whatever you see extras doing when they're shooting on the harbor um but yeah is that where we're headed laughing demon yeah i think so okay yeah absolutely you all head there from cleo's shop glitz and glamour said it right <laughs> uh wow. it from your position, from your location in the clearing, it does take you, you know, maybe a good 20, 30 minutes or so to get there. You're not terribly far away, but it's not, it's like just, you know, past the, the harbor district in the, in the clearing proper. So as you kind of make your way back to the docks where you were earlier, you, you come upon this establishment it's in a like kind of a row of other uh buildings and stuff pretty tight you know so there's no like alleyways anything between them it's just it's right there wooden uh, up on stilts like many of the other buildings here right because we are on the marshes it can get quite muddy uh sometimes even flooding there is no sign there are no windows the dark wood of the establishment sticks out slightly from the rest around the rest of the buildings on this block look to be newer for the, the wood looks fresher you know the new new construction you all even recognize that some of these you, you recollect you remember enough from the last time you were here at Gramble's log that you know these are you know some of these are new um they weren't here before however the laughing demon does seem quite a bit older right like it's been there the the walls the exterior walls are quite worn um the wood despite it age has not lightened by the sun you know hasn't bleached uh anything like that blitz as you arrive you would recognize this as um black iron wood and it seems very out of place for a whole building to be made of this usually reserved for you know weapons shield armor that kind of thing right uh but yeah sturdy establishment then but on the door itself is carved the name uh, in lieu of a sign overhanging sign or something right you see the laughing demon and there is something akin to like a you know the 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 classic little drama mask faces the laughing one and then the emo one right the um it looks like the laughing one kind of but you know just this sort of like strained uh artificial right like laugh it's like these very lot of like lines in the eyes as if it's almost a fear or a nervousness to them but the face itself you know to us would look somewhat human to the denizens the animals of midwater this is what a demon looks like Uh, is the door just open or closed? It is, it is closed. It's very, very closed. Do we hear noises coming from inside, or is it just like quiet? As you, you get close, sure, to, to sort of listen, you do. You hear like what you'd consider just to be some 
hustle and bustle, right? Wow. As you, yeah, as as you get into listen, you know, the door like pfft, opens and almost hits you as it, you know, pushes out and two denizens. Uh, they look to be dock workers from the look of them. You know, mm-hmm. one so one's a stork, other is a mouse. They look whoa, look out there! Some of us got work to do or work to get back to, and they just kind of like move through you and, and head back towards their their ship or whatever it is they're you know working on to them uh with the door wide open you know it's, it's not very light in there there are some some candles lit there's like maybe a situation hanging from the ceiling not nice enough to call it a chandelier we'll say it's something just some planks with candles and you know suspended from rope at the top uh but enough to give it like sort of a dim lighting um sort of a smell of grease escapes the place uh you notice it is like about lunchtime so it isn't the busiest establishment you've seen it's maybe about half full so it's 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 you know there's some activity going on it's a little little hustle not a lot of bustle yeah i think i go in and look around and see if i can find like the proprietor or someone who's like working there someone who looks like they're Yes, let me pull up the last demon <laughs> go. Uh, Beatrice will look a little uh, shaken, but then kind of like take a deep breath and be like, oh, well, uh, you know, the only way to uh, get going is to go and uh, get it. So uh, that's what, uh, you know, that's what we say. What sibling said that? Which one? <laughs> Oh, uh, that was, uh, oh gosh, I think it was Uncle Eddie, actually. Um, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I don't know if you ever met. Mm. I mean, you you have, I think, six or seven Uncle Eddies. Oh, so. yeah, this is, uh, this is the, uh, um, this is Uncle Eddie on, uh, you know, uh, my mom's side. Uh, there's still two other Eddies, but um, he is the one uh, that really likes, uh, you know, uh, wood carving. Oh, I remember that Eddie. I remember that. that, that oh, that, that, okay. Yes, yes, yes. That Eddie, I'm familiar with. <laughs> well, Woodpecker Eddie. Yes, I'm. I'm familiar <laughs> <laughs> with them. Uh, fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> I get into a long conversation about all the other Uncle Eddies and their hobby. Um, oh, Alex is trying so hard to find the proprietor. <laughs> yeah. Not engage in this conversation. <laughs> Look in hard to get away from this it's like a real spongebob in the salty spittoon situation yeah. where i'm just talking so loudly about my uh you know homegrown uh family life i think i think i think um uh my character I'm like i can't forget if i can find my character's name jesus blitz, blitz. Just, blitz. 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 i break out i was like i was like good i think blitz is mainly just talking talking to beatrice to get their mind off the fact that this place is call the demon i think they're just trying to get them comfortable in the, mm. in the time uh, game, yeah it's working game master is this like a, a seat yourself situation or do you have to wait to be oh yeah no i was just saying why this whole uncle eddie thing went this is great <laughs> <laughs> felix is no, jasper for an out <laughs> yeah felix you uh you, you look around you see there's one old possum here uh just kind of serving you know, they, they, as you're getting the rundown on the third Eddie, uh-huh. uh, yeah, this old possum comes from these, like, swinging double doors in the back. He's cane in one hand, tray up here in the other with, like, probably five entrees, plat- you know, platters, and just sort of, like, the drinks also and everything just coming out ever so slowly. And eventually, now that now you're on the fifth Uncle Eddie like pulling it down has to like brace himself on the table so he can like go with cane somehow manages to bring the tray down and then just like serves out right and it's like a full deal here each person is has the soup and salad as well as like the sandwich right or whatever the entree is so it's a lot of plates to be moving around a lot of iced teas and whatnot you know um after you see this, you you notice this old possum uh, just 
tucks the tray under his arm right here, grabs the cane and looks to the table over. He's like, oh, I'll have yours out in a sec. And then starts kind of walking really slowly back towards uh, that swinging door, which we uh, assume will lead to the kitchen. You do not yeah. see anyone else working. And you do see I... a sign, please wait to be seated. I will flag him down. <laughs> Felix isn't waiting to hear another however many eddies there are <laughs> well and he was married to uh, aunt gretchen for walking away a long... <laughs> <laughs> gretchen's that's that's a new one for me walking to the possum <laughs> just be walking just kidding. yeah that's, that's <laughs> like i cannot <laughs> yeah it was a big uh, to do because she's a chipmunk you know oh. <laughs> yeah i do know interesting, interesting. <laughs> absolutely felix you you walk towards the possum you intercept him by maybe like he's maybe a quarter of the way to the kitchen. Yeah, Hasn't I figured I could catch far. up with him pretty easily. I'll just sort of like walk at his pace as he's mm -hmm. continuing if he doesn't stop. Um and just yep. say, uh, hey uh friend, are you do you you run this place? Are you the proprietor here or you you work here most nights? Oh, I wouldn't call Oh, flimsy the proprietor, but I, I, I have work here for many years. Uh, I, I suppose you and your friends looking for a table, my fine fox fellow? We actually had some, just some quick questions for, for you and anyone else who works here. We're, uh, we're helping out a friend, uh, you see, um, one of their, uh, one of their crew members went missing and, uh, this was the last place they were seen. So we just, just wanted to ask some questions, see if you saw anything funny that night. Uh, maybe if you could uh, help us out with whatever you can remember. Oh, well, I love to help. I have tables to attend to here. And I, well, as I always say, if you want something quick, take yourself down to the racing tortoise. Here we take our time and, and do things correctly. I'd be happy to to answer your questions, but perhaps take a seat and order some lunch. And when I get done with these fine denizens, I can I can assist now. Excuse me, I have some bowls of fruit to pick up. And kind of starts. Does any any table will do? And just sort of boxes. He says, when you get to the front, can you flip the sign to the seat yourself side for me? We'll do that for you. <laughs> Much obliged, young fox. Is Felix it? is less annoyed at how slow this is because no one's called him young in a very long time. So I was like, all right, fine. <laughs> now, this is a very old boss. He's, he's surprisingly yeah. flattered. He's like, oh, oh. All right. Okay. All right, all right. I'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> you hit the right button. <laughs> yeah, so I flip the sign and uh, head over to a table. Do the three of you see this and join? Or are you still just? Oh, yeah, for I'll sure. I'll wave everyone over and mm -hmm. let them know what happened. Uh, Game Master, did I hear this conversation between Felix and the? Was it within? I Gershaw? if you're not if you're not focusing on Beatrice, I'm not. I'm not no, no, Rankle is just completely anything, ignoring that. So... There's just there's a wall there. Um, yeah, you would have you would have been able you wouldn't have been able to hear this. Hey, okay, um, Felix did not have to go far. I'm, <laughs> so... I'm gonna walk to the double doors. And, uh, I'm just gonna start this. helping. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna poke my head in and just be like, uh, "Excuse me, I, I was told to start today." Uh, you you pick your. Uh, give me one. Interesting way to do this. Interesting. Interesting. Incredible. You you poke your head at uh, the back, and it doesn't seem like like anyone hears you the the situation you walk into it seems a bit chaotic uh there is a younger possum she seems to be manning all of the working all of the the, the flat iron you know the grill all the doing doing all the back of the house stuff and you sort of walk into her scolding old flimsy and she's like, Dad, I've been telling you, just head back up to your room. You're too old to be helping. 
uh, get get Crimble, and and he'll come down and manage the. You know, manage the front. He'll he'll take the he'll take the orders out and 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 serve the tables. Flynn's he's like, oh no, no need to bother my grandson. He's off playing with his friends uh, down near the creek. There's no creeks out here. It's the marshland. Uh, he's he's you know, playing around the docks with his friends. And uh, I told I'm, him to take the day. I'll just take a couple steps in. Like no 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 that's all right. Crimble's actually the one who told me to to come by and check in with you guys. Real Tom Sawyer, that some bitch. <laughs> uh, Delilah looks and she says, "You know, my son, a little on the old side to be hanging out with him. He told you to come down here and help us out. He did. I'm, I, I get a lot of sun. That it's not great for the. You expecting pay? Because uh... no, 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 no. Volunteer basis to start. I know I got to earn my keep here. Well." It's quite unusual, she says, but we really need a hand here. As you can see, my dad, he, he's a, he's gotten up there in years. Uh, uh, we'll all be up there one day, don't we? We all you. will. Why don't you rest now? Why don't you go it's out funny. and and regale the newcomers with, with some of your tales? Well, 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 you know, that, that does sound like something I could do there, young young mouse. Sure, I will. He's like, I'll even bring you out a round of uh, my world famous fruit smoothies to, to, to get you started off. Let me go start assembling this. <laughs> it goes off, and it's like we don't have blenders here, you know. So he's like hand mashing the fruit. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That I can't believe we're gonna spend this entire session, entire session. Uh, right here. <laughs> Waiting yep. for fruit smoothies. Can't believe it. <laughs> this is the fruit smoothie episode. Yep. Ooh. This is the one. Um. So wheel montage, real quick. Rankle, you are put to work, right? You are in and out of that kitchen. Delilah serving up orders. You know you're taking them, um, etc. We'll resolve that in a bit, and we may have to do some sort of fun roll rolls. We'll see. However, the rest of you, you sit just for a you know a little while, observing people coming in and out. Uh, you eventually see Rankle coming out with like a full tray, uh, taking orders, going back. I start ordering obnoxious out. stuff from Rankle. <laughs> Just like an excess of drinks and like <laughs> really obnoxious to make stuff. Yeah. No, it's, yeah, you just keep a tab. You have like an open tab you keep adding to, right? right. Eventually, old flimsy skids, possum server, comes out the tray loaded up with, yeah, just like these refreshing cool looking fruity drinks you know sets them down he says your friend your friend the mouse said he'd cover my shift today uh, very nice uh, nice of a young young mouse to do so so i thought i'd bring you all these these nice tasty bevies and then perhaps wow. we could go over some of those questions you had Oh, that would be lovely. That would be so wonderful. Did you know that he also has comedy experience? If you're looking for, you know, some sort of a performer, yes. he's a you. If you need any entertainment, I cannot recommend. There is uh, not a funnier, nice young mouse out there. Yeah, improv, stand up. You know, just uh, joke. Really on. loves the stage. He'll loves have your attention. Customers on the floor. <laughs> Says, well, that's a mighty fine, not mighty fine idea, but my daughter, Delilah, she um, she's canceled the open mic night ever since. Well, I ooh, old flimsy shouldn't shouldn't rightly be saying oh. it's it's impolite to talk about people behind their backs and all. I mean, we're new in town, and 
we don't know these people. If you got something on your mind, I'd say we've got perfect people to talk about it to. Yeah, talking is the only way to get things done. Well, That's what we say. Did... Well, you were asking about missing people. And now I don't keep up with anything, any any of that going on and in the clearing. Old Lindsay tends to mind his business, but the Laughing Dragon is my business. Even if it's not my business, it's my business. But is it's that not a... my business. <laughs> he could is do that, that a different bar than uh, the, mm-hmm. the Laughing Demons? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> Yeah. No. You said. I was just going to let that roll. <laughs> River snorting snail salads. Okay, let's do it. Um, Maybe they rebranded. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. So Limsy is old. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Limsy's old. Limsy can say whatever he wants. Yes. Yes. Also, is a dragon in this world like a gecko? Probably. A big oh, yeah. gecko. Big, big, big gecko. Mm hmm. Um, yeah, Flimsy, you know, um, we're certainly not here to judge and anything that could help us find our friend would be appreciated. You'd be, you know, wouldn't be gossip. It'd be doing us a service. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and persuade. Let's roll the persuade. So not charming. Uh, what, um... <laughs> am I talking so much? I am, but I think, uh, is my exhaustion still oh wait i didn't have exhaustion yeah i would like to help um okay i didn't roll too bad i rolled a seven okay i add nothing to charm (laughs) all right i maybe won't help then that's how it works right i get to decide after no yeah that's right yeah yeah, if if it's anything really if the rolls anything other than a six or a nine it's It's okay you don't have to yeah (laughs) So let's see, when we roll, we persuade an NPC with promises or threats, we roll the charm. I believe here the promise is pack the we house. We won't tell. We've got, you know, I was, well, I was gonna refer, I was referring back to our whole like, oh, you know, you let us put a, yeah, you know, our friend, got, tell his Frank, jokes, yeah. he's gonna fill it in, but then also, yeah, maybe the- And also the, the like Rankle's already people. helping out, so. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. We've already fulfilled our promise. <laughs> <laughs> I dig it. Yeah. I like that. Let's, yeah, he'll go with He's like, oh, well, your friend is helping out. That practically makes you family now. Uh, I suppose there's or, no harm. Beatrice no knows all about family. <laughs> you know, I've never had a possum in the family before. GM speaking here, that surprises me. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, there's some, like, you know, second cousins that kind of left the tree and stuff, and, you mm-hmm. know, they were all over the woods, so we don't keep track of all of them, but... uh there's probably, there's probably some possums in there. <laughs> She's just like looking too. off into space. <laughs> oh, they get into just about anything. Don't you know? <laughs> nice. Flimsy and Beatrice together, we'll never get anywhere. <laughs> no. 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 This is it. This is this is where you live now. Yeah. Okay, you just, it. just two two storytellers just talking about nonsense. <laughs> and each each story transitions into the other person's story. Right. Yeah, it's never ending. Yeah, no, it's it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> so, yeah, old, old flimsy eventually gets to the point. He says, "As I was saying, uh, some nights back, now we we had one of our open mic nights." He sort of gestured. There's this like uh, small, you couldn't even really call it a stage. It's called, almost just like a step. You know, literal soapbox. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the back of the back of the establishment that looks like it has been not used for quite a while. There's chairs stacked on it and a couple of boxes there. Not really, you know, in 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 a performance condition right now. He says, but that night, uh, the night Delilah decided we were no longer going to have them. Uh, well, yeah. I suppose a strange thing did happen. There was this... Things were going uh, splendidly. Uh, there were a f- couple of flute performances, a a beat poet, which, uh, my understanding, is it was a young man just speaking haikus to a root vegetable. 
Look at that. I got it. And uh, as I said, the evening was going well, but then he. No, again, old, old Flimsy does not mean to speak ill, but I believe a a rather uh, sauced, to put it politely, frog. Big strapping lass, very strong shoulders, um, came up to, well, it, what reminded me of it is she came up to do uh, some jokes, like you said your friend knows. Hmm. Now I don't I don't I, I don't judge anyone for for getting into the drink. I understand fishing is a hard day's work, and though they all deserve to blow off some steam and kick one back, you know, croak out a a body tavern song with with your friends now and then. But no, there was something in this frog's eyes. You, you could tell. Old, old flimsy could tell. There was a a struggle going on in that young frog. She came up and her her jokes began, they were they needed work. I won't uh I, I won't mince words. But however, her words soon turned less of the comedic variety and more towards the doom and gloom. Now, it's a it's a loud place. It gets rowdy in here, so not everyone always is heard when they're up on the stage, you know. They really need to capture the crowd uh, to, to, to get them invested in the performance. Captivate them, I say. But really, her jokes turn to shouting. Shouting about the injustice, the the wrongdoings of the the clearing. I don't... I, I guess, again, I don't judge anyone for for the stress of their lives and, and whatnot, what brings them here. But there was something going on with her. I believe uh, a couple friends of her, perhaps, hers perhaps, you know, led her off the stage and out of the place. And it just, it, it irritated the crowd. It agitated many. Um, and with things being how they are and all with the dis disappearances, I do know about them. I don't keep tabs, but you know, Delilah thought it best to to perhaps suspend our open mic nights until um, indefinitely, she says. Hmm. What kind of wrongdoings? Oh, I, you know, my the old my old memories, not what it used to be. Something I believe she was concerned uh, for safety. She said something about a savage bear you know really out there stuff my my grandson crimble he'd probably know more he was there too and, and seemed quite enthralled by her words but like i said he is out you know skipping rocks or whatever it is young teens get into these days perhaps he's uh rolling a wheel with a stick and Yes, I'm sure. I'm sure that's what he's getting up to. Well, if you hoop and stick. If you happen to know where he usually rolls hoop and stick, you know, maybe we'll try to follow up with him. Oh, you know who rolled maybe hoop we'll and bring stick him a new was hoop? Uh, second Uncle Eddie. A new stick. <laughs> <laughs> please do not please I, I can't hear about another Eddie. I can't hear about another Eddie right now. <laughs> uh well, I I did want to ask you um oh. Uh, I, I forgot his name already. Flimsy, uh, uh, flimsy, old flimsy, Lim old flimsy. I did want to ask awesome you, server, <laughs> Mister Flimsy. Uh, do you know uh, first uh, kind of like a timeline for uh, when that occurred, and then also uh, this frog? Do you happen to know her name or uh, any of her friends? Oh, I. <laughs> Well, you know the two the two friends of hers. They they are regulars here. They 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 come in. Every, I wager every night or so to have at least a, a couple um, juices, maybe a margarita here and there. You make a lovely margarita here. Um, pride of the clearing, if I say so myself. Uh, 
old family recipe, the secret, since we're family, I can tell you, the secret is lake water. Oh, that is interesting. That's uh, yeah. real different. Gives it quite real a creative. Real creative. <laughs> Thank you, Beatrice. That's the word I was looking for. Creative. Yeah. <laughs> kind of put it down. <laughs> Everybody's so creative. Everybody's so, so creative. creative. So creative. <laughs> Every oh. possum so creative. <laughs> just, a, just a lean in. It's the lake water. Like. <laughs> it's lake water. I wouldn't mm. have thought of that. I wouldn't have thought of it. Maybe it's like nutmeg or cinnamon. No. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were just going to say tequila. <laughs> That's right. Oh. I was so ready to give all the compliments uh, no. to this uh, old possum about this smoothie. <laughs> and then you're like, oh, you, geez. you oh. saved us with creative. That is the best yeah. thing to say. I it's think. the brightest smile you can muster. Creative. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was he saying before that? Uh, I can't remember. You were, uh, you were asking the name. They're, they the come name. They come there every night, uh, the, the friends. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. They're friends of this frog. And they haven't called they, her. Oh, sorry. Go. They, they haven't come yet. Not today. It's lunchtime. Not oh, it's usually. Lunch. That's right. Usually yeah, yeah, it's lunchtime. Evening. It's not night yet. Yeah. They they only day drink on the weekends. Uh, mm -hmm. can I also oh, take that out? Sounded sad. <laughs> can I also take out the coin uh, and just ask him if that means anything to him? I don't want to do it like really visibly, but like mm -hmm. you know, palm of my hand or something. And just like show it to him. Yeah, you know, it's about a demon, maybe. And you see it, and he's like, "Well, um, you're not, uh, you're not planning on paying with that, are you, dear?" And that looks, looks to be funny money to me. <laughs> oh no, Wrinkles got this. It's on Wrinkles' tab. He's got it covered. <laughs> you do get the friends and family discount now, after all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I kind of, okay, yeah, that sounds good. He definitely said the smoothies were free. Yeah. <laughs> they were. They oh, okay. Were. <laughs> uh, all right, well, I guess uh, we got to wait for Wrinkle to uh, finish his Finish his shift. shift. <laughs> finish his shift. <laughs> Just sit here. Well, <laughs> um, the funny thing about old Drippy, that's not it. Flimsy. <laughs> it's right, it's like <laughs> sticky note is right in front of my face. The I'm possum like, you know, names are all perfect. Make up a new name. Uh, they yeah, all are such possum names. A, that's his cousin, Drippy. Unfortunate yeah. name, Drippy. <laughs> the, it sounds like a possum. So yeah, the thing about Flimsy Skids is he is a slow talker. So wrinkles shift. He took the whole time. <laughs> Probably wrapping up. Excellent. The lunch rush has died down, mm -hmm. right? Uh, Rankle, you are kind of like cleaning your, you know, you've taken off the old apron, you're kind of cleaning your hands off on it. Delilah's congratulating you. You, you, say, you know, I have not had a shift go that smooth in I don't know how long. <laughs> She's got like a small little glass of like, this is like a wine. It's not a cooking wine, you know? So here, those are gross. But she just, it's like, it's like a, one of those little, t like, tiny little tumbler guys or whatever, little taster. And she just keeps, like, refilling it a little, passes you one. She's just like, you know, my dad, he just tries. And then it turns out she's as much of a talker as <laughs> old Flimsy, just a little bit quicker and a little more agitated. She's just on and on about, he's like, he, every day, he comes down here to try to work, gets in the way, runs Crimble off. She can't find him, so she's done her real work. Her husband's out on the water, you know, fishing, et cetera, et cetera. And she's running the whole place by herself. Um, fucking patriarchy. Anyway, um, she like comps you a meal. It's like the house special. It's huge. Uh, there's this, it comes with a soup, right? Uh, it's like, Frank it's like will whole... just just straight up eat the soup and like just leave everything else on the tray. He's he's. Just... It was like there was like a whole fish, you know, <laughs> like fried and and everything. Just How like, many oh, of these you... foods use the secret ingredient? <laughs> oh, <laughs> just. Just the margaritas. Turns okay. Out. I think okay. that's just a flimsy thing. Okay. <laughs> it is. It is. Yeah. I don't think Delilah is. <laughs> they, they just don't eating know. her patrons. <laughs> Delilah, 
No, Delilah knows. She just tries to stop. Every time he tries to do it, she's like, no, dad, I told you, we don't serve those. <laughs> you know? You don't serve those. <laughs> exactly. That's what he said. That's how he replies. It's the secret <laughs> ingredient. You can't be telling people. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, not, not everyone's family. The new series of The Bear, I want to be called The Possum, and it's just in this kitchen. <laughs> it's like the high stress when Delilah is running stuff, <laughs> and then it's just the front of house is just flimsy. Well, let me tell you. <laughs> Back in odd six. You know, something like that. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, but yeah, um, Rankle Delilah tips you out. You get to value in like loose coin. That's a lot. Oh well, whatever. It's, it's, it's not a. It is what it is. It's not a one to one with like Dragon Game Gold or anything. It's it's very subjective. Honestly, <laughs> how much how much a value gets you depends on the clearing and the scarcity of goods, etc. Right. Um, comps you a meal. Uh, hold on. Let's. I want to see what I promised. I said we could probably resolve something in a roll. I want to see what would work. Or if we would just like to take a straight up. Give me a, a charm or a cunning roll. Your choice. Oh boy. Okay. Well, I got zero charm, so let's go for cunning. I was going to say, I feel like he's better at one of those. Yeah. Again, I think the only one with a net positive is Beatrice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how does a Beatrice is carrying us. Uh, how does a five sound? You didn't get any tips. We'll just say that. Oof. That's fair. Two, uh, we'll hold, keeping as... it at two value in the comp meal. <laughs> you get some as... strained inner ends. As, uh, as Rankle's kind of sipping down the soup, though. We'll kind of look towards Delilah. So, uh, why exactly is this place named after a demon? Oh, that. Yeah, she says. Well, the 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 place was founded. I couldn't even tell you when. Pa says it was his grandpa, but he's also said it was his great. Some nights he up and admits he doesn't know how long the, the, this place has been in the family. Says, I don't know if you noticed. And she like knocks on the walls. It's built out of some very sturdy wood. It survived floods, even a fire once. Um, it's been called that since even before Dad can remember. So I couldn't, I couldn't rightly tell you myself. We just have never changed it. Gotcha. Must have been someone's idea of a joke or a, you know, clever reference or something back then. But you ever, uh, you ever pull up the floorboards or play porn at all? Never needed to. Hmm. Everything's just been sturdy as as can be. Um, about once every three years or so, we do shave off a layer, mostly grease and such. Don't really get much of the floor, but, you know, you're still there. Besides, the only thing we'd find under the floorboards are um, my son's toy bug collection. Toy bug collection? He doesn't keep that you here know, in the kitchen. Like little, No, no, little toys, little miniatures, mm. uh, carved Carved out of stone, oh, ceramic, such a, that such. Yeah, no, yeah. he's quite the collector when he was a young one. Uh, left would leave them everywhere. Yep, sounds like Crimble. Normal Crimble. <laughs> sounds like him. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, thank you. Hold up the bowl of soup. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you ever need any more help? Uh, Blitz and Beatrice, two young Spire ones out there. Mm hmm. So you folks, um, you folks staying in town for a while? I don't, you know, I don't 
I'm not saying I'm personal friends with everyone in in the clearing, but I know I, I know out of towners when I spot them. Well, uh, I need a spot in the old common room tonight. We've got bunks. I may take you up on that as a, we're going to be here for for as long as it takes. Uh, not sure if you're aware of any of the disappearances. Probably have to have a head on, you know, my I'd have to have my head under a rock or be my dad to to not hear about the disappearances. So yes, I I am aware. Very worrisome times here in Gramble's Log. Well, uh, to be honest, that newcomer. Oh, is that? The, the mayor? There's, I didn't have mayors here. Did the council hire, hire you to investigate? You usually get someone younger. Uh, uh, an associate of the council is aware of the oh. situation. I see, I see. Wait a minute. He sort of squints. Yeah, no. No, I knew, I knew you looked familiar. She says, you, are you, are you one of the folks who was here a year ago and, uh, helped those, helped get rid of the, the, which one was it? The, the Airy Dynasties? You look like, I know there was a wolf and now a fox, what, just like a county squirrel, but it is y'all. My friends and I, we are known to uh, do a little uprising here and there, just as a treat from time to time. Just as a treat. <laughs> Fantastic. Our favorite pastime. <laughs> I'm dying. Some at people the, like snacks. Some people at this like this grizzled amount. <laughs> <laughs> as a clearly older warrior type, as a treat. Soup stained <laughs> beard. Soup stained. Soup says. covered. Obsessed. Right. Obsessed. Comedian. Absolutely. She says, well, you know, I, you should have said some rooms. Uh, she said, your stay here is on facts. Uh, put you up in the common room whole week. Whatever you need. Uh, meals will be on us. You don't even, you, just don't, you never have that's, to do this. Like, you know, like. Way too much to at, no, at no. least we'll again, take it from just, the living room <laughs> here room. all the way from, from yeah. across yeah through the doors and everything felix is willing to see, help out wherever he see can. it's settled so it's settled. i can't i can't can't help felix I is can't the best cook, cook or clean properly oh my back oh no i need to lay down <laughs> we'll make we'll make sure the beds in the good corner are, are set up for y'all mm. is there a like bad corner <laughs> That's uh, my question. Is there, are there bad corners? <laughs> I mean, you said this place is dirty, so what makes the corner bad? Like I said, free stay. Uh, <laughs> food's on us. Hopefully you get to meet my son, Crimble. Real rap scout in that one. Well, uh, much appreciated. I should probably go where they have made too much of it. I'll be back this evening. <clears throat> Thank you. No take back seats. <laughs> <laughs> don't have a resume. <laughs> uh, yeah. So you, let's say yeah, you rejoin the group. Y'all are just finishing up your your meal and conversation with flimsy skids. Can we, yeah, we update Rankle on what we learned. Yeah. yeah. Cross, yeah. cross yeah. the yeah. information together. Mm -hmm. You Debrief. give him one of these, which means you told him what's happening with Princess Zelda, and now, you know, yeah. it's just like, ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Filled him in. Filled him in on everything. Uh, oh. Back and forth. Mm -hmm. Oh, and uh, maybe don't uh, have any of the margaritas here. Just. <laughs> They've got a. 
a, a secret a look ingredient. over at Beatrice. I was gonna order him one anyway. <laughs> <laughs> They've got a secret ingredient that's really abundant around here. <laughs> Should we uh go they talk do. to the guards? <laughs> uh, I guess like talking to the guards until we have to come back and talk with the friends, right? Yeah. Well, what time is it? It's like noon ish, right? We'll say, lunch, we'll say lunch one is over. We'll say, yeah, it's um early afternoon at this point. Early at somewhere yes. around there. Mm-hmm. So, so we have, that, yeah, okay, we got to talk to the guards <laughs> and parents mm-hmm. and come back here. Mm-hmm. So, for the friends. Yeah, we might not have time to do both, but. Are we thinking that frog who spoke here was. Uh... Uh, I feel like we can one? assume. Did, can we can we track that it was the same night, like that Glenda Strongwater went missing, this open night night. I'll say yes. You were able yeah. to put that yeah. together. Um, <laughs> Flimsy gave you like a, it was around then, and that was like yeah. We'll yeah. say he gave like that a two to three day window. window. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Easy enough to assume that yeah. yes. Cool. Uh, yeah, I really want to know what uh, what she was talking about with uh, injustice and the uh, wrongdoings oh. of the of the clearing. Yeah, and, and, and it was enough for her to say afterwards that then she left, right? So it's got to be important somewhere. We could ask Delilah before we leave because Rankle, you were talking to Delilah, right? When I could, she's working. Yeah, you know, kind of like just. <laughs> about as about as talkative, huh? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Uh, maybe if we're if we are staying here, maybe we could catch her before uh, you know the yeah. place closes down. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, and head to the the east gate. The guards, I, yeah, wherever they are. I wrote mm-hmm. west, but whatever right whatever gate that <clears throat> we heard from Bale. Yeah. Should be west. West? Okay. Yeah. Uh, rewrite my notes. Excuse me. Here we go. Yeah. So yeah, we'll say, yeah, you head back, or not back, you head into, uh, you know, the main part of the clearing and make your way towards the west gate. And let's... It's cool, y'all. Let's grab an earlier break than last time. Sure. Um, so, yeah. Thanks so much for hanging out, folks. We're going to take a, a quick 10 here. We'll be back before you know it. Please, please, please rejoin us, and we'll see where this mystery unfolds.
Hi, hello, and welcome back, everyone, to Midnight in the Marshes. We are here on the Initiative Order, coming at you this Saturday night with some mystery, with some intrigue, with some long-winded possums. When we broke, our group, uh, sorry, our band of vagabonds was departing from the laughing demon. Pause for got it right this time. Uh, okay. And heading towards the west end of Gramble's Log, the clearing where we are currently in, at, doing our thing. On the, you know, closing in or continuing their investigation of the missing denizen specifically. Um, it's, it's in the, I switched. Mirror Lord, Glinda, Strong River. I needed. I, I probably should have thought of a more memorable name because I keep forgetting it. Right there, Glenda. Glenda Strong River, um, fishing boat captain. It, open mic night uh, participant potentially. Ranter. <laughs> All around cool frog, according to her friends. Could have been anyway. slam poetry. Ooh, that is that is a fair point. It could have been. Mm -hmm. performance art yeah they're good at that here Gramble's log they really they really value art uh honestly like among the the peeps here the anura especially right there, there's a lot to be learned uh from the arts and, and the wisdom that they can provide they think anyway i wanted to ask as we were uh approaching these guards like do we anticipate that they are going to be like super receptive and friendly to us if they know who we are Mm -hmm. you would think even if they didn't know who you were that they would be like the people of Gramble's Log here are generally very kind maybe not easygoing maybe not nice you know but there's definitely like an underlying kindness to this clearing specifically that you don't really see elsewhere it might be because of the values of the of the denizens here slightly different than those of, of most other places or it could be the fact that now with the absence of the airy dynasties and their some sort of remote location in the marshlands, you know, they're just away from the war, from the conflict enough that, you know, and not, and not everyone's under that constant stress, panic, trauma that we all live in this post-apocalyptic hellscape. Uh, sorry, what? <laughs> <clears throat> We're talking about frogs, everyone. Uh, so yeah, you you wouldn't anticipate that the the guards would like give you any trouble or anything like that. Um, however, you make it. You're probably about halfway to your destination. Uh, you're passing through sort of an open air bazaar, right? Uh, just stalls and tents selling food, goods, uh, other things. You know, just people haggling over prices, things like that. And wrinkle. Being a ranger and being quite seasoned as you are, you are very good at tracking things, right? But there is a flip side to that. And your experience also um, has, has let you sort of identify or be aware of when someone is tracking you. And you notice and you... We'll say you've, you've suspected for a while, but this is now you're certain that there are three figures hooded from what you can tell who have followed you out of the Laughing Demon uh, and are, you know, they're, they're keeping their distance. But to you, it's, it's clear now that they have been following you. Okay. Um, I'm going to kind of just trudge out. Mm -hmm. Just kind of lean in. We're being taken. Hmm. You wanna stay here in a public place or maybe try to lose him? Less pub. Up a little something something for them. Sure, three of them, four of us. I'm fine with that. Um, 
GM question. Yeah. We were here before for mm-hmm. some unspecified amount of time helping these people. Correct. Do we know how well do we know the the clearing and the city? Like, it are would it be easy for us to find somewhere to like maybe try to set up an ambush? I'm sure it would require some sort of role, but like, do we have ideas off the top of our heads too? You would. I'd say yeah. You, you're familiar enough with the clearing. Um, this bazaar, for example, is is not strange to you. It's not new. You've probably bought things from these vendors. You know dozens of times uh, in your last stay here um <clears throat> you know during and before the conflict we'll say right probably before during would be weird to be shopping and like mm-hmm. swashbuckling a, a soldier off i don't know however you mm-hmm. however y'all did it so yeah uh you could possibly rely on f- your familiarity with with the vendors maybe there's one you know uh that you can duck into a stall real quick you're also f- just familiar with the layout uh the We'll say the, the, the layout of the streets and buildings and everything that you could easily double back into an alley or, you know, something, you know, mm-hmm. create, you know, do something clever like that. Normally, yeah, it would either be, there'd be like a series of roles or depending on what you're trying to do, um, you know, we would we'd say, okay, well, if you attempt this and we roll this, right, you know, you all know how games work. Um, for this in particular, there is a really fun... Um, rule there's a move from the travelers and outsiders uh expansion book called set trap and literally one of the things you can do with this is uh is lay an ambush so in in the pursuit of having the most fun with this game uh rankle will say you one of your your old you probably had an advancement here or two uh you have learned this move so you know how to set a trap or ambush, etc. Um, yeah, you just get a move. Everyone gets a move. When? Um, yeah, then I think I will just uh, like nod to, and I'm sure we've done something like this before as a group too. Mm-hmm. So I think mm-hmm. I will just like nod to Rankle and then like move up in line with like Blitz and um Beatrice and just sort of subtly let them know um just to keep it cool and follow Rankle's lead. So uh Rankle's just going to like stop off near a stall and act like at something nonchalant point in the direction so that would be like some eyes on the yeah following us. Um, mm-hmm. I will break off the ways. See how many mm-hmm. me. All three of them. <laughs> um, I'm going to head to if there's like an alleyway like next to like the laughing deep. That's a sense direction. Oh. Rankles mm-hmm. in hopes that some of them. Okay, let's do it. Um, the rest of you, what will I have? What will y'all do? If you're trying to get them to follow you, I do. My robes have a ability called unassuming, uh, which means that until you harm an enemy, they will never deem you more of a threat than other vagabonds with arms and armor. I don't know if it would apply because I'm with the rest of the group here. What, the I, way, oh, oh, sorry, go. Oh, no, no, finish finish your thought. There. Uh, yeah, I would say the way that would play out in terms of being with the, with the rest of the band, you know, they, they still see you all collectively as, I say, I mean, not to give anything away, but like your threat level or whatever collectively is going to be the same regardless, mm-hmm. right? But let's say if a conflict were to be engaged, unless you were the aggressor here, they would most likely attack the other people first or like, again, you know, they would underestimate you because of your unassuming attire. That makes sense. Right, yeah. So yeah, I'm going to tell the group which alleyway I'm heading to in the hopes that the three follow me and basically be on both sides. Basically try to get them 
like try to surround them. I would also let you know that like I am pretty good at hiding and sneaking, so I could try to like disappear into the crowd and sneak up on them that way as well, like to help you with your ambush. Um if that helps, but we can I can also wait and see how many peel off and follow you um, before I do it, before I decide what I do. Um, Cause I could sneak and go with you so that you're not alone. And then the other two could take a circuitous route and lead the other two back to the same, the other back to the same place, you know? And I feel like Blitz and I are really good at being like super visible and mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, yeah. I so you could, you could be I, our I have, a, I have I have a famous spear on my back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's just poking out against the crowd. Not wrapped up at all because he doesn't want us to wrap it up. Uh, he's just like, so if you guys split off and we'll di- wear the distraction slash the ones that are almost obviously watched, that's, 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 that sounds classic. That sounds like a classic. Yeah, I just, I have the bright orange squirrel fur and the, you know, yeah. mm-hmm. very talkative approach. <laughs> yeah. We're very yeah, bright. Absolutely. We're very bright. <laughs> so de- yeah, definitely something y'all have done before. Like, maybe you call it the hayfield shuffle or, you know. Whatever. We do definitely call it that, yeah. Whatever it ends up being. <laughs> so... Yeah, let's take let's take it a step at a time. See what happens. So you you two are splitting. Uh, right now, that's what's happening. We're going to split off. Rankle Felix, one, one way to try to lead off uh, some of these mm, followers that you have, and Blitz and Beatrice remaining very visible to see basically y'all to see who who goes where. Mm-hmm. Um, Rankle trying to stay seen. Felix trying to disappear into the crowd. Mm. So yeah. That, so that it appears that they're only tailing Rankle and have completely lost you. Yeah. Indeed. Okay. So we'll say for now, the only role I need is Felix. Sounds like you're attempting some something stealthy. Yeah. Like I have the roguish feats for sneak. Sneak something sneaky that's absolutely i have sneak and hide be. i've sneak is to get in and out of places hide is to just sort of disappear but i think uh, i add the same to either yeah it would be because it's your finesse regardless finesse, yeah hide so whatever I mean, you think i think yeah, sneak probably see. is more or let me no, sorry let me take it back one do you have uh since you are a thief uh, oh, what, some like I do you have a move? Um, you, took, you took disappear into the dark. I took disappear into the dark, so but I don't know if that works in like while a unnoticed. Oh, right. So you're not unnoticed know. right now, so it, it wouldn't work. Yeah, it's more like I don't know if I could particularly use that. That might be more useful like at night. Um, I think it's maybe too bright and crowded for that, but I can still try to sneak. Let's leave the opportunity um, there. Let's say there's at least there, there. You may be able to mo- maneuver yourself into a situation where you could use it. Okay. We'll just see where the scene takes us, right? Uh, but for now, let's say it's a sneak for you to just sort of okay. like blend blend in with the crowd enough that they just lose sight of you completely and you continue moving. Yeah, because basically, disappear into the dark is like I have to stay hidden and then I can get a plus to attack someone if I mm-hmm. reveal myself. Um, so maybe once I ambush spot, I can try that. Mm-hmm. Oh, very nice. I rolled a 10 plus 3. Oh, that's beautiful. 14. Dang. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm sneaky. <laughs> you've done this so many times. It's um it's just second nature to you, right? It's almost like like you just sort of give Rankle a look. You turn one direction, you've gone. Even he, mm-hmm. you know, Rankle, you know Felix is there. You've seen him do this when however many times, right? Um I turn to say something to Felix, and I'm just like, "Oh, oh, he's, uh, he's okay. All right, cool." Felix is just like, "Thank <laughs> God, I can't hear about another Eddie." <laughs> Sweet <laughs> silence of the crowd. <laughs> just that white noise, that din of people. Just, yeah. Oh. Thank I'll God we were followed. I really Felix. couldn't handle another Eddie story. <laughs> Blitz, don't you Wait. think Felix is such a good listener? Like, you know, I feel like he really cares about uh, everything Truly. that I'm saying. 
I mean, I hung on every word. Every. <laughs> not, not a detail missed, not a comma uh, jumped. I know. Yeah, he's always kind of like bringing up little details that I said. It's really, you know, it's yeah. it's a nice marker of our friendship, I think. Yeah, it's, it's it's good to see that they're paying attention and really and really care about learning about us. That's fantastic. <laughs> so as y'all execute the Hayfield shuffle, um, Wrinkle, as I, you start going back the direction you came, looking, you you know, perfect little alley that's going to work for this, and you all know it's location being familiar with the clearing so yeah it works fine as this happens rankle you notice two of them have uh have broken off to follow you and one remains that yeah, blitz and beatrice you see you know there may be a ways away from you in the crowd if we were talking combat distances they would be far um or ranges i believe they're called ranges not distances my apologies Right, with plenty uh, of people and things and carts between you and them. What do... Yeah, let's start with Blitz and Beatrice. What do y'all do from here? Well, so I think the plan is to kind of corral them, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... it's just, just being kind of, not loud and obnoxious, but that's just our brand. Uh, yeah. just, just being loud and, and making, On sure, brand. <laughs> making sure we're, we're making sure we're visible, being loud, I feel like maybe uh, we start to have like a fake argument even. Okay. Like we and that's kind of like why we like stop moving to like mm -hmm. kind of shunt yeah. them in one direction. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm yeah. I can't believe that you would say that about my Aunt Gertrude's stew. Hey, I've had a lot of stews. It's not it's not the best it's not the best one. It, it won best stew in the forest for four times four years That's just one forest though it's not the forest it's, it's like it's just because you make a thing that says world best a force best soup doesn't make you need more <laughs> of, a, of a group of, of of voters to make that, that count that doesn't count you're just mad I can do this all day. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and 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 on and on right and on and on um so let's say, yeah, we're trying to get them. To, which of y'all wants to roll a, to trick an NPC? Because we're trying to. What, what uh, what's That's the roll for that? Yeah. It rolls with cunning. Ooh, that might be you. That's me. Just to like yeah. sell yeah. the, you know, to sell the conversation. Yeah. yeah. Uh, cunning. Yeah. That's yeah. I, I have two in cunning. Yeah. If that's it's gonna roll these beautiful dice and go. Uh, that's nine plus two. So, nice. Dang. Uh, on a hit, they take the bait and do what you want. A seven or nine, they can set, choose one. They cannot choose one. No, yeah, you have them. Th this person is whoever they are, right? This is like, mm -hmm. yeah, they think, you know, they, they got the they got the easier job. Yeah. They're they're able to keep up. They're, you know, they're even like sort of invested in the conversation. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad. I want to know their opinion. <laughs> Just because, you know, the bird folk don't like to add cinnamon doesn't mean that it's not objectively a better ingredient. If I can't taste the food, then how can I judge it? <laughs> and you can, if you could be in this, uh, in your stalker's head, it would be just the funniest thing. It's like, they, they maybe can't, they, they get picking up every so, you know, not every word, right? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And so it's just, there's like a pause in, in their minds of like, cinnamon? On a potato salad? <laughs> we have a saying God, about why? <laughs> people like you, but I'm not gonna say it because it's uh, too rude. Oh, uh, uh, rude? Oh, I'm gonna how how rude could you be? <laughs> you know, not very, which is why I'm not gonna say the mean saying. <laughs> as a, uh, as you, you say that. You if you all, don't um, have a nice saying to say, don't say the saying at all. You know. Saying. No. Which is a saying that we say. <laughs> Straight from the tree. Now that's it's, a Beatrice it's, saying. It's the oh, it's, that's an original. That's an original. Okay. Rock back. <laughs> uh, yeah, they as, can't bring themselves to. So anyway, I pull out my dagger. <laughs> <laughs> right now, as uh, as you're saying your last. Felix saying with the black about... eye. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> of uh yeah is your saying your last saying of sayings you should say or not say depending on their level of nicety you, you get to the the alley uh your target alley here how do you corral them into getting in there before you know have you loop around to get behind them so that you you fence box them in Yeah, talking so to sorry still feelings. still feel no i'm sorry um still beatrice and blitz so you're like your convo uh, you've got them lured about i think i think we, we've uh, just gone from just we're just arguing so it just seems like we're not paying attention to where we're going mm -hmm. okay. we're like so walking backwards and stuff like walking backwards and like making theatrics and jumping in the air mm -hmm. and just and just seeming so distracted we don't mm -hmm. know where we are right we do kind of like a circle around that's mm -hmm. just Perfect. like yeah yeah so you yeah then you lead them through the alley they end up sort of in the middle of it trying to stay back behind it you've like made it to the 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 one end and on the other end we have felix and Rankle arriving, Felix completely out of sight. You've just been watching these two hooded figures tailing Rankle. Position-wise, where are you? Are you closer to Rankle? Have you gotten behind them? Like... I'd like to be in a sort of position to ambush them. So I think I'm tailing them, Perfect. right? Yes. I think it's like Rankle, those two, and then me. And I'd like to, I think once rankle has kind of pulled them into somewhere dark then that's when i'd like to use my disappear into the dark and just like straight up attack one of them not like to kill them but to like try and at least grab one of them um mm -hmm. so that they're caught unawares and rankle can have like a bit of an advantage when trying to subdue the other one absolutely so yeah as you, as you approach <laughs> the the alley in question rankle you did pick a good one uh for the time of day the the part the time of the afternoon it is it it, it the buildings that it you know that make this alley are, are a bit on the taller side so there isn't a lot of sunlight coming in there it's dimmer right it's not it's not per, per, like 100 percent dark but it's dim there's a leaky pipe somewhere we'll say you know the classic clothesline hanging some some clothes like a like about a story up Maybe some random boxes here uh, being used as, you know, some storage. Do you just head in and, and have them follow you? Or, like, how do you want to try to loop around and get them? Get oh, yeah. So, well, or... uh, Rankle, he's going to start walking back toward... Not, like, walking right beside them, but just making it obvious that they can see him. He's heading back toward, towards wherever he was at. Uh, as he's walking, he's going to be kind of making a bit of a show of like, oh shit, my back's killing me, my arms are hurting. I'm trying to make himself look weaker mm -hmm. than what he actually fucking is. Uh, and he's like kind of like grabbing at his robes and just kind of muttering himself like, God, I think I left my fucking car him. Mumbling to himself as he just kind of walks walks past them and just continues. And like, he doesn't even know. Okay, as you do, yeah, and then yeah, they sort of they double back. Uh, I mean, they, they have to like wait a beat, right? Because they're trying to make sure they're not completely like right up behind you. But mm -hmm. you, you've made it sort of difficult for them at your slowed pace and everything <laughs> that they're just sort of. Um, yeah, we'll say they like kind of falter for a bit and end up running into. It's like it's like it, I'm trying to like line it up in my own head. This is like a kind of like a comedic Scooby Doo moment <laughs> where they're like backing up into the alley and they hit the back of the other person, right? And all of a sudden they look at each other. Three of them are like right in the middle there. Uh, Felix, yeah, as they're they're sort of like you know down into the, this alleyway, and it is a bit darker in there, so you could you know hide in the shadows follow them and said would you like to disappear into the dark i would um so it says when you slip into the shadows while unnoticed mark exhaustion and hold one as mm -hmm. long as you remain quiet move slowly and hold one for this move you will remain <laughs> hidden um if i reveal myself i lose my holds i can spend it to reveal myself from a dark place and leave without warning and then if i attack someone immediately after spending the hold I will take a plus three on the roll. So that is what I would mm -hmm. like to do. 
absolutely. So yeah, you spend the exhaustion and you're able to slip in. You know, this this situation, it looks easy peasy to you, right? Um, say you end up initially, you're kind of on top of two crates that have been stacked, uh, some hanging laundries casting a shadow. So you're, you're completely hidden from sight below you and a little bit further into the alley are these three confused figures like, you know, you can hear them like, well, what do you mean you lost them? How did, how are you even, you know, they're just like baffled and talking to each other. <laughs> uh, Blitz and Beatrice are on one end of the alley. Rankle, you're on the other. You have them contained, right? And uh, Felix, you're probably the closest one to them being up in your, in your, in your position where you are. What do we do? Uh, yeah, I think I just get behind one of them who has their back to me and mm -hmm. um with my um just like pull a dagger on their throat is what i would like to do yeah i'd like to pull my bow yeah. so i would um, like to to fight them i don't know what move that is i think i can just use like a weapon so you have one, yeah, you could either, if you have a specific weapon move, like a skill, like a weapon skill you'd like to use that your, you have a skill and your weapon has a tag, right? You can do that. You can do a, just a basic engage in melee. Yes. Or if what, uh, and you can also use, if you have it, a roguish feat called blindside, which is sort of like a, this, that's what this would be almost would be like a like a sneak attack or a, like if you're like say like you were just talking to someone you all of a sudden sucker punch them you could roll for a blind side but this would you know they're unawares and you're cat you're catching them off guard kind of attack i uh, i if you don't have it yeah i unfortunately do not have blind side yet that is what i was looking to take um mm -hmm. at some mm -hmm. point but i think i will just engage in melee because of I have the quick tag on my dagger so I can use finesse instead of might. Yeah, I yeah. just have to mark another exhaustion. So Felix is gonna be sleepy after this. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like your weapon tag is parry on that, right? Yes. Okay, okay I just so, you didn't have any others. Okay. Yeah, so I don't think I can use that until they attack me back. Gotcha. Um, yeah, so you... Um, you come out swinging your dagger, completely unseen. Uh, you will roll, yeah, with with finesse, uh, taking your exhaustion, and you also add a plus three because of your disadvantage yeah. of the dark. On top of that, yeah. So I add plus six to this roll, Jeez. and I rolled a nine, <laughs> so that's a fifteen. <laughs> yeah, that absolutely hits. You come out of nowhere, so the engage in melee roll or move uh when you engage in an enemy in melee at close or intimate range so this would be both or I, i'd say yeah. you would probably be able to get intimate you know because of how sneaky you are just right there yeah um uh you trade blows it says on a hit trade harm uh on a 10 plus pick three on a seven to nine pick one so of the if you've got uh, the move pulled up yeah, out of the four options yes you pick three of those um okay yeah so i will pick suffer little harm okay um impress i will pick frighten your foe mm -hmm. and inflict serious harm oh god i'm i would like to not kill them but if Maybe. well actually let me see how much damage my dagger does before i decide to inflict serious harm should it, unless you have a, a bonus to it. I don't have anything. One. Yeah, I think it's injury. just. Okay, then I think I don't think I'll kill him with this. So that's okay. fine. Oh, you don't. Oh, then I won't, I won't inflict serious <laughs> harm if I don't. I don't know. Felix maybe doesn't care. I mean, it's up to you. Yeah, you, you get. Um, uh... Okay. The, other, but the other one. option is shift your range, which I don't need to do. Um, For you, mechanically, what that would mean is you would shift. So you'd come in, you'd hit, frighten your and foe. And then, like, you would, like, step back. Out it. 
yeah, you'd step out. Okay, into- maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do so- that. I don't want to straight up murder a guy immediately after mm-hmm. we're all just talking about soup. <laughs> Right. Uh, no, it's it's like it's textbook, right? You should be running seminars on how to do this the way you come mm-hmm. out of the shadows. Um, you sort of like use the clothes hang in you know, the clothesline is like a zip line, come down, sort of like not tie him up with it, but, you know, like disorient or like get him off balance with it. Your dagger just comes in and then before he can react, before his homies can uh as well you just like flip wall jump whatever it is you've done to you you're like uh next to rankle now mm-hmm. you know, yeah you're, you're you've gone from close to far range um mm-hmm. and just goes down completely one of the other hooded figures is like kind of shouting you know like oh no what you're and then like you can see they're like applying pressure doing the whole thing that pre- mm-hmm they're out of it they're not dead but they are not doing good um the third that is still standing you you know still hooded uh pulls out like a short sword and then it sort of just now realizes that they are all that they're surrounded is very frightened you know the, the sort of shaking in their hand looking back and forth between the four of you unsure of what to do um who, who, uh, who's got a thing? The other, other three of y'all. <laughs> you, uh, you see this go down. Wrinkle's, yeah. Wrinkle's gonna pull his longbow off his back and just notch an arrow. And okay. he's just gonna say, drop the sword. Drops it. What is it's like, oh, and he uh, kind of looks towards Felix, well, how's a lot easier than I thought. I don't need Yeah, don't we're need still pretty good at this. Today. <laughs> Okay, well, why don't you explain to us why you're following us and who you are and what you're doing here? And what your opinion in nutmeg and casserole is. Yeah. What? (laughs) Who? Listen, uh, could I maybe get my friend some help first? I think he's bleeding out. He'll be fine. You just hear- Probably won't be fine. (laughs) Yeah, you hear from the- the, 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 the creature kneeling you hear like he's not gonna be fine <laughs> so that's, that's a lot of blood a lot of ichor well then you better <laughs> talk fast listen we were we we're just trying to make make some extra coin you know this we got we got told uh it's just a job man it's just a job told by who oh, to do oh. what listen i can't you know, you know how it is. You're probably in the. I mean, you're probably in the business. Based on that business, I could tell you're in the business. You don't. You don't really talk about who's hiring you to do these kind of things. I, I would just, recommend. You know, I don't know. You do so. It's professional. Your, your friend right. is bleeding. I don't know. I think maybe uh, I don't really care about professional respect right now. <laughs> that sounds like a threat. So go ahead and roll to persuade an NPC. <laughs> Say so okay. any one of you, any one of you can at this Okay, point. someone uh, else. I'm not charming. <laughs> it's uh yeah. I can do it. Uh persuade an NPC. Yes, it's not a th- I'm guessing this is not a threat for Beatrice. This is, this is <laughs> oh, Beatrice is probably gonna be say something nice. <laughs> uh let's see. Uh is that can I use charm on that or is yep. this something else? Okay. That is cool. a charm move. Yes. That's a 12 then. Cheesy Pete's. No, they, they believe wholeheartedly. Like, okay, okay, I'll talk. Jeez. Listen, yeah. this is our first this is our first time doing this. Okay. We, yeah, we know we're good know, at it. We're just here to kind of like, you know, get our story straight. Uh and then uh we'll we'll help you help your friend uh right away, okay? Fred, his name's Fred. Oh, nice to meet you, Fred. Uh, my name's Beatrice. <laughs> try, yeah. <laughs> try you, to stay um, awake, okay? <laughs> as you oh, say that, the, the four of you. Um, uh, sorry, Oop, that's Fred. Changing name cards around. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no emojis. Sorry, 
anyone else with a Mac, your keyboard it ever just pop up the little emoji menu like when you didn't mean to mm -hmm. hit delete too fast? It's, it's a nightmare. It's just, I don't know how I live like that. I'm sorry. Oh, good. Over, Take your time. Um, Man, a man's been stabbed. It's fine. Take your time. We want this to go as correctly as possible. Is right. there any kind of role I can do to kind of like stable him a little bit? Stabilize him? Fascinating. Uh, maybe. We'll talk about maybe. it. Okay. Right. Um, you no, know, we'll say, do y'all start moving in or do you, you keep it? Yeah, we'll get yeah. closer. Yeah. I'm getting closer. Yeah. Yeah. As you all move in, you <laughs> notice um, a very, very strong aroma. Uh, you get close enough to see uh, Fred is a skunk. Oh. Um, the 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 one who who's been talking to you is a rabbit, and then kneeling next to Fred is a mouse. Uh, she's got her 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 hood pulled off now, and looks to have him somewhat stabilized. Definitely passed out um, from the from the shock, but for now is at least breathing uh the mouse uh, her hands are kind of shaking a bit it's just trying to like you know make sure he's good and um the rabbit is you know also just very frightened he's like this i'm so I'm, so, I'm sorry i'm silver this is mantra she's like kind of like, we are gonna use our names <laughs> it was look this just it's not it's hard around here for some folk all right fisher the Fisher clans, they, they run the place. They get to say, they do what they want because they bring all the food in. And, you know, sometimes some of us, we don't, it's just, it's just tough, right? So I ran into someone at, at the Laughing Dragon a couple nights back, said, <laughs> if I had a couple friends, it'd be some easy coin for us to just hang around there. And uh, bring them back any info on anyone started coming around asking about uh, Glinda and and the and the others mm -hmm. gone missing. Just gonna follow you, find out where you was going, and go go uh, you know go report back and make some make some coin. That's all. Sure. Yeah. You know we totally get it. We're also kind of like a you know strapped for uh, finances a lot of the time. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about uh, the someone? Uh, he was a fox. Not from here. Definitely not from Gramble's Log. Pretty shiny, not shiny. Um, he had some leather armors, you know. Not everyone always goes walking around with that, but you can tell he's been through the woods once or twice. Uh, carry a sword on him. Um, had a on his hood, a little, you know, he had a little hood and cape situation. Very common around here. Uh, do, do, he never gave his name. He just told us where he could find him. But uh, his hood had a sort of a strange pendant, a little clasp. It was. Sort of like a a skull. I pull out my coin. No, not like that. Is uh, I'm trying to think what creature. Sorry, is like a weasel with crossbones, but the bones were lightning bolts. Uh, blitz. Yeah, I was going to say, does this sound familiar? You would be very familiar with this emblem. As it is the mark of the rough bones. The bag, the band of vagabonds responsible for your parents' death. I think as they're describing the symbol, as soon as, mm -hmm. as, soon as the right detail is said, where? Outside the clearing, in a cave, to the west. Do we believe this? Uh, you can roll to give me a moment. Figure someone okay. out? Yeah, it's exactly the one. It's another charm. It is indeed another charm. 
I am good at that. Mm -hmm. uh, cool, I got an 11. Absolutely. So when you try to figure someone out, roll with charm on a 10 plus, hold three. Uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. On interacting with them, spend your hold one for one to ask their player a question. So if you want to ask, are they telling the truth? That is one of, you can spend a hold on that. Yeah, I think that's the most important thing to figure out right now. Mm -hmm. um, absolutely. Yes, this uh, this rabbit is very frightened, very, what do we name him, Silver. You know, no. at this point, there's no reason to be lying to you. Yeah, you believe cool. he's telling the truth. Or I guess it's not a you believe it, that he is. It's it's not your insight, it's me as the player. I got you. For a fact. Yeah, sorry. Mm -hmm. I think I think Blitz is kind of getting in this rabbit's face. Um, it's like, what what were your instructions? What did they tell you? I did, I mean I told you, they said just look out for anyone that comes into the laughing demon, starts asking about Glenda, starts asking about the others gone missing, and then just tell him who they were and what they're doing around the clearing. Um, Blitz, I will say, based on the description, based on the, the collar, the emblem, and everything, you would know this is Larry the Fox, one oh. of Regina's, like, right hands. Right or left, uh, take your pick. He's one of them. I will, uh, <laughs> I will just put a hand on Blitz's shoulder, just to try to, like, just be, like, a calming presence, just... Yeah, same. But not say any, not say anything. Because you guys mm -hmm. can tell that Blitz is starting to get a little. Yeah, angry. I put to my lose paw it, maybe. on mm. Felix's paw. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think you, you you do. I will say you both do feel him kind of shaking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like this is, Blitz doesn't get angry, e at, at really easily, or ever mm -hmm. really. So. Mm -hmm. I think he just feeling feeling both of your support. I think he takes a breath. His eye kind of normalizes. He said he takes a step back. Okay, we know that you all were just, you know, receiving payment. Uh, did you tell uh, this fox that you had seen us or anything, or did you just start following us right away? Also, did you see anyone else? following us or any other interesting things while you were surveilling uh no we started following you straight away weren't gonna go back to larry or i guess they never learned his name they don't mm -hmm. know but <laughs> you know but blitz knows, knows yeah. larry. we wasn't we weren't gonna go back to the cave unless we had any any real info that's what he said uh so we haven't been back and I mean, we could barely keep up with you, so we didn't see anyone <laughs> following you either. Uh, and interesting things on the... I saw a, a, a cool rock. Oh. On the side of the road. It, it looked kind of like... Like a toad flexing his muscles. Mm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Could you uh, uh, <laughs> just give us some detailed directions to this cave? <laughs> uh, the rock and, uh... is like two blocks back. The cave, oh, the cave, the the cave where the scary other fox is. Yeah, that cave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, we'll say y'all have a, you all have a map of of Midwander. Like it's yeah, it's like, it's like you know, Vagabond one hundred and one. Um, he sees. I'm, I'm. Let's just assume you show him the map and. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, but like point point to it. Yeah. He's, awestruck he's never seen a map before. Is this, <laughs> this is this is Gramble's log ah and this yeah. is so you're saying golly there's a lot of midwater your uh yeah. your friend's not looking so good maybe uh oh, maybe get he's... to it there he done worse you know i think they might be hiring at the laughing demon <laughs> if you're looking to make some coin without a messing with these folks oh gee you think they take us on honestly i have no clue but did, yeah <laughs> did you see anyone oh go ahead 
That's going to end up being a Dragon Ball Z situation. Friends, enemies <laughs> to friends. <laughs> Did you see anyone else talk to this fox ever? Oh, no. Uh, not that. No, just that it was just us that night that he approached um, at the demon. Haven't seen him back there since either. And we were the first ones you found that were asking questions? Sure are. Would you like to spend either of your other hold? You still have two. Mm, what can we do with those? Uh, um, it's under the moves page. Yeah, okay. under under the rest of figure something out. You have four other. Oh uh, my gosh, I didn't know this existed. Aha. Aha. Hot damn. Um. And we'll say these can be used on any three of them. Usually it's limited to an individual uh, NPC or even player. You can roll this on a player too. Um, but the three of them are kind of a, a matching set right now. Maybe we could ask for a favor. Yeah, well, I'm wondering, I'm thinking maybe we could ask, how do I get your character to stay quiet and like not mm. like lay low maybe? Mm-hmm. But they, they also could be scared enough that we don't really need to. I'd say you just have to like, yeah, promise and follow through with the promise that you won't harm them and just let yeah. them go off with this. Go off with a warning. We'll I would, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would do one better maybe and uh, I'll kind of pull them to the side and be like, uh, you know, maybe we could uh, send them back over to a uh, bail he could take care of them for the night or something. It might be good to have Bill these has... guys on our side. Can I... Do, do these people seem trustworthy? I, Bale has a lot of kids. I don't want to send some mm. like non-trustworthy little randos <laughs> who are following us to his vulnerable family. Especially one that's got, been stabbed. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> I know you want to help them, but I don't want to, I don't know. That's very fair. <laughs> you pass them on and the flimsy. Felix, Felix is not trustworthy. Of all people. <laughs> mm -hmm. At this point, uh, Mantra, what the fuck? The mouse? <laughs> Listen, it's just, I shoot from the hip with names, okay? It is what it is. Uh, Mantra kind of looks up at y'all. She's like, listen, we, he's okay, but we really got to get him to uh, a barber soon. We gotta, we gotta get some leeches in that wound or it's gonna be bad. Yeah, you better do that. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot that that's the medic. <laughs> You're bleeding? You don't need that much blood. It's, it's fine. Yeah. Is <laughs> it's there, is there, I don't think, is there anything else we need from these guys? I think we got... You tell me. You guys have, you other, the rest of you have any questions? Uh, you know, if, uh, I don't think so. Still we could try point. to just we could try to get a favor from them where they tell us if they see anybody else suspicious, but they don't seem the most observant. They don't they don't seem they just seem like amateurs Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean that's not a bad idea. Just say if you see anyone else asking, you tell us instead of uh instead of yeah. going to the cave. If you see anyone else with that symbol, maybe. Or uh, anything else going on, people like us asking, or people asking about people like us asking. Y yeah, should th we've learned our lesson. You go uh -huh. to uh, Bail and let him know, okay? And we'll oh. find you from there. So you know Bail? Bail Watercrest? He's a war hero. Oh, gee. I didn't know y'all were friends with Bale. Oh, yeah, oh, you're Lord. not on the good side here. I just want to make that real clear. That was oh, not... We're, we're not the good guys here. <laughs> yeah, no, um, Silver looks like, oh, gang, I think we, we goofed up real bad here. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think so. <laughs> go goof on our part. You know, everybody makes mistakes, and every squirrel has those days. I would advise getting better. Get good. Don't be so bad at what you do. <laughs> That's get, get Felix's, Felix's <laughs> saying is get good. Get good. There it is. 
yeah, they they start to head off, uh, you know, supporting their skunk friend, Fred. Uh, Silver pauses for a moment. Moment. His eyes go down to the short sword that's still on the on the alley uh, ground. He's like, I mean, it's my dad's, so I gotta just starts so like reaching for it, but watching to see if you're gonna stop him, kind of thing. Let him take it. No. Oh, it's stop him with the sword. I'll, there's no reason to. <laughs> it's it's his dad's. I don't want him to get in too much trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah he picks it up and it's you know you, you all notice it's pretty dinged up yeah. um probably hasn't seen action in some time and uh you also notice the other two weren't even armed and mm -hmm. i assume that check that they're being genuine carried through that like we know that they're telling the truth about like not yep. realizing that they were involved in some bad yep. stuff yeah yeah absolutely they're still completely truthful yeah blitz are uh, are you okay How are the rock bones doing out here? Asking about who's disappearing. Mm-hmm. Maybe they're the ones isn't such a mystery. Yeah. I think maybe we should make a detour to that cave uh, before we get through the rest of our day. I, I mean, can we... How far away is the cave? Like, how much time would that take? Um, and you... also, oh, sorry, go. Oh, one other question to remember from last time when are we supposed to be at the warehouse to look at the two like spy on the ships? AM, right? But is yeah, that tonight? Tomorrow. Day after tomorrow. Okay, cool. Oh, cool. I, that's what I thought, but I just want to double check. We didn't have to do that tonight. That is yep. good. Y'all have, um, you wager, uh, if you left now, even making a good pace, uh, you'd be, at, and again, you know, this is a very, like, approximate map, right? Yeah. Um, it's not like they're out here measuring, really. They didn't even know what a map was. They didn't know what a map was, <laughs> so. Like, Yo, first, time, first time, he's, he was, like, counting the Big deal. on it, like, it's, uh, there's, there's so many trees away. But it give you like a rough enough directions that I'll say you you y'all are probably the ones that annotated the map, right? Mm -hmm. I was like, hope you go this and then you turn. Um, but it is, yeah, the cave is in in the marshes themselves. It's mm -hmm. there is sort of a, a hilly area to the northwest of Gramble's Log. Uh, as as you're starting to get kind of closer to like the mainland, we'll call it, right? Um and the uh, northwest sort of is where Glenda disappeared, or was that just west was, west? She went out through the west gate. Okay. Uh, according to, or at least she was last seen at the Laughing Demon. Mm -hmm. And to get to her parents' location, she would have, have to, to leave go, through, go the, through west the west gate. gate. Okay. Yeah. And then but we need the northwest is where those frogs locked in combat are. The statue. Oh, the statue that is to the northwest as well, but that's like clear across Midwater. It's okay, like, that's not yeah. It's like on the other it. side of the country, basically. Got it. Yeah. Beatrice yeah. also doesn't know what a map is. So this yeah. is more. <laughs> yeah, it is. This is also to the northwest, but very local. Okay. There. And speaking of last session, I may have actually said east last session because I get my east and west turned around a lot. It makes it hard to play Zelda. As okay. long as the characters know where to go, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Ended up um, on the map once, or you, 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 <laughs> you all can tell that Blitz, like Blitz's wings, are getting antsy. Mm, yeah, like mm -hmm. you guys, you guys can tell that like Blitz wants to just leave and head straight. I know there. immediately. I'm gonna and try and like taking him every. It's taking him every bit of out, like every ounce of restraint, not to just leave and get yeah. out of there. I'm gonna huh. take a moment to address Blitz and like look at him pretty seriously and just be like, hey. Listen, I would really love to murder Larry immediately. You know that. You know I would go right now and kill that fox. Oh, yeah. We have to be smart about this. Okay? We can't just rush in and not know what we're getting into. These were a bunch of kids they hired who didn't know what they were doing. We got to be careful about this, okay? We're going to get to the bottom of it. 
we can go right now to scope it out, but I'm just letting you know, if we're outnumbered, I'm not, we're not going in there. If it's a, if it's a dumb plan, we're not doing it. Only dumb if you get caught, but I understand. <laughs> well, good thing I'm good at not getting caught. That's true. You just like disappeared back there. Who knows what you're kind of the only thing I'm good at. <laughs> That's not true, Felix. You are such a good listener. I was just telling Blitz. Oh, Beatrice. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> we got so many talents in this group. You know, Rankle, just, you know, classic comedian. <laughs> <laughs> So glad you're here, Beatrice. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm like actively, I think, trying to cheer Blitz up a little bit. Yeah. Too, I think. I think Beatrice is also a little shaken. Like she knew Blitz's parents too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and like did want also to go to the Fox right yeah. away. But yeah. I think it makes sense to her to to gather more information. Yeah. Does, does Larry know who you are? I mean, that's if, a good question. If you know, yeah, definitely. If you know the tales of the Lombardies, which are famous vagabonds, mm -hmm. they're <laughs> very famous. You know that. You know that Felix worked with them. Uh, which Felix working with anybody is a rarity in itself, right? And uh, I think while like at campfires, Blitz told stories. And Felix told stories about their adventures with the Lombardies. Uh, I don't know if you knew them personally, if you if you ever worked with them on jobs, but they they accepted everybody as family. Like it didn't matter what what you were, what your previous alliances were with, as long as you had their back, they had yours. Uh, and that got them killed. But probably no one. Do people recognize you? Like, do people know who you are? Like, <laughs> they. If people don't recognize me, they recognize the spear on my back. Okay, yeah, that makes yeah. sense. And I, it's like I think there's a bird traveling with that spear. Okay, mm -hmm. I think they would also recognize you and maybe Felix, but definitely you. Yeah, they would. You know, you know that much at least. Yeah, and they presumably are aware that Blitz was involved with the last time we were here too. Yeah, yeah. So they all mm. might know who we are to yeah. some. Yeah. yeah that, that's why I was like, what did, did they, I was wondering if they gave them yeah. a description of people to follow. Mm -hmm. No, they just said broadly. Yeah. Follow anyone anyone asking. asking. Yeah. Right. Right. Which is crazy because you'd think a lot of people would be asking. Right. Um, <laughs> maybe, well, maybe people out of town, like if people that are not from the town start asking, maybe that's the. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> Will indeed. Anything we attempt to do in, in Gramble's Log before heading into the wilderness? Um, um, I think we want to talk to the guards as we leave the yeah. through the West Gate, at least. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. just check in with them before and see if they north. saw any, see if they even saw Glenda leave that way that night um, mm -hmm. or if she made it past them. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. We can resolve that pretty easily. You make it to the West Gate. You talk to the guards there. They are not the guards that were on duty that night, although they tell you um, that later this evening, there, someone will be on shift that was on during one of the other disappearances. Uh, this was when it was the... We'll say the possum. Uh, I asked for the names of the people who were there the night Glenda disappeared as well. Yeah. Uh, just so we, like, you don't have to give them to me now, but just, I'm checking in just so we can follow up on this. No, yeah, no, you get uh, two. Yeah. Uh, two frogs on duty that night. They were the, the night guards. Each gate gets two. Um, Gregory and Smythe. 
Incredible frog name. Obsessed. Yeah, love it. Okay. Sweet. And then the, the guard that will be on shift this evening, all y'all mind. Who knows when you get back, right? Uh, that was around for the possum's disappearance is Boxer, a chipmunk. Oh. Uh oh. Squirrels and chipmunks. We got beef sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> My hair, my hair, one of those, those, those mean quotes might come out. You know, it was, about a it, was about a <laughs> it was about a chipmunk. It was about a chipmunk. It was about a chipmunk. Oh, snap. That's, okay. listen, I, might let I you know I'm everyone... thinking something mean, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I, you know, I accept everyone. It's more like sometimes chipmunks don't like me. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We just have very different, you know, cultural customs, right, uh, right, and it doesn't. Right. It, and I. It sometimes mix. people confuse us, and it's sort of like it's just a sensitive right. topic. I think. Right, right, right. Of course. The the guards see see you off, or they, you know, they're still like, "Well, good luck out there." You know, there's folks done mists. I guess that's why you're asking. Yeah. <laughs> he just sort of stops a little bit, says it. <laughs> um, but then he's like. Now hold on a second. Mouse. Fox. Every goddamn place we go. <laughs> Very fancy bird. And a squirrel. We all like pose a little bit. <laughs> Aren't you the folks who were, <laughs> you know, and it goes, it devolves into the like. You know, we just look a lot like them. You don't you get that all the time. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, like he's like chewing on it. He's like, mm. Well, then I wish you luck. They're just out there. messing with you. It was us. Well, then luck rescinded because you don't need it. <laughs> I don't know something like that. Like luck. luck rescinded. Luck rescinded. I hope you have terrible luck. Thanks. Because I have such luck. faith in your talent. <laughs> no. Yeah. No, he doesn't. Actually. He's like, well, you know. It does um it does ease ease my mind a bit. You know, we got got some real heroes that are looking into this. Um and I'll say, just based on your interactions with some folks today, but you know, laughing demon, this and that, the way we are, let's all go ahead and take uh plus one to our reputation with the denizens. Oh, Ooh, that boosts me up. Y'all you know, really been impressing them lately. So bad. Nice. Yes. I'm in the one um, zone now. Before we leave the clearing, did our last encounter or anything here, did anyone hit a drive or a nature where you can clear your exhaustion? Specifically not. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is when I resolve a dangerous conflict non-violently. <laughs> yes. That didn't happen. I don't, I have clear and exhaustion. Uh, so I took observer at the end of last session. So okay. I don't think I got this, but I have clear and exhaustion track when you enter a dangerous situation to try to witness a significant or secret event. Mm, yeah. So I don't think so. Cause it was just, we were being right. followed. It wasn't like mm -hmm. looking for something. And you did a lot more uh, than witnessing. Yeah. Uh, actually, I did hit one did of my murdering. drives. Oh, uh, which is advanced when you increase your reputation with any faction. Oh, and you just did because you hit one. Yes. Nice. Perfect. Yeah. You... That... So I go. Oh, I thought maybe we hit one last time, but no. Okay. Uh, I think it's just this one. I don't know if this counts. My my nature says clear an exhaustion track. I'll clear my exhaustion track when you depart on a wild and risky new course of action with others. Yeah, this definitely counts. Huzzah! Oh. <laughs> I'll take it. There you go. Yeah, as soon as you're departing. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so then what this means is we get to take a travel move. Because we're moving through the wilderness, we don't have the option to move on, a, uh, on the path. But let's talk about what that actually means. So, quick reference. Okay. 
Um, why is it not gonna shoot? Oh, here it is. Okay, uh, we're gonna use the travel through the forest. Uh, if y'all are referencing along, but it's not the forest, it's the marshes. It doesn't matter. The forest is, you know, uh, it's more of an idea, man, not like a place. Um, so when you travel from clearing to clearing through the forest, we're not going to another clearing, but it doesn't matter. We're still gonna count it, right? Mm-hmm. We know we more or less know our destination. Uh, you collectively decide how you travel and one member rolls. You can either go slowly, uh, forging heavily, everyone clears to depletion, and you collectively mark an exhaustion for each member of the group. So that does not mean you each take one. It means you collectively take four. One person could take three, and another person could take one. You could each take one, two, one, one, you know. Right. Y'all know how, y'all know how dividing works. Right. Um, <laughs> Your second option is you careful you go carefully, avoiding trouble. You collectively mark one depletion or exhaustion for each band member. So as long as you take four harm, it doesn't matter how you whatever. Uh, and then you get a plus one to your roll. Um the roll meaning here's the consequences of traveling through the unknown marshlands. Uh and then your last option is to move as quickly as possible. You all mark exhaustion and depletion. So you each take one of each, uh, and you get a plus two to the roll. Only one of you rolls, and then some shit happens. I'm just going to say I can't take another exhaustion because I did so much stuff today and then we stayed up all night the other night. So I'm at three exhaustion right now. Yeah. So I'd rather do something where we use depletion. Um, I have a little bit of exhaustion yeah. to, to take, um, but I'm totally I'm also happy taking depletion. I just cleared my track of exhaustion. So honestly, we could we could do that. Uh, but I'm here. I'm cool with depletion too. So either or. Um, do we want to do the? Gosh, let me look at the. Is the move in their list move or is it in the book? It's in. It should. It's in. It's in. Both. If you have the quick start or the. Yes. Yeah, the quick reference one. Okay. It's on page twenty-two of that, but in okay, the yes, in the, the book PDF as well. And that page, I don't know because the quick start is easier to reference. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I know that's is fine. It... I have the quick start open. Cool. Uh, yes, I see. Okay. Um, should we maybe do the uh, middle of the road one where we collectively mark one depletion or exhaustion per band and get a plus one? Yeah. Sort of the medium. That's what I was thinking. As long as Blitz isn't like too antsy. Uh, Blitz is antsy, but he. Uh, but since he can fly, he doesn't really have to worry about walking as much through the forest. But so, but he cares that his party is safe. I think you see that Felix is like, like as impressive as that move was. He's like kind of close to tapped Tired. out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sounds like, good. Yeah. Uh, steady and uh, still kind of fast is uh, the way to go. That's what Fleet Cheeks famously always say. Mm. Cool. <laughs> so then we're moving carefully. Mm-hmm. We'll mark uh, four harm total. The combination of depletion and exhaustion. Y'all can split it up however you would like. I'm happy to take either or both of those. Not all of them, but you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can take one or two depletion. I will take exhaustion. I'll take exhaustion because I haven't taken any. Okay. Okay. So that's two so far, and then maybe three with the depletion uh, from Felix. Or if you take two, then that would. If you take two depletion, that would call it. Or if. Uh, so I would have to, I would have to take two. Or I one? can take one. I'll take no. one depletion. Oh. It sounds like everyone else has taken at least one. So Blitz, you could take one or the other. Yeah, I'll take one exhaustion. Okay. okay. So, so exhaustion, cool. So exhaustion from Blitz and Rankle, depletion from Felix and from yep. Beatrice, also depletion. I would rather do a depletion if it if either one works. Yeah, out. you can. We yeah. can this one. Cool. We can pick either. Sweet. Right. Exactly. Depletion. Cool. Nailed it. So yeah, y'all trek through the woods. Who would like to make the roll uh, at a plus one? And it's just, it's 
2d6 like everything else uh just 2d6 uh do any then just 2d6 plus one yep okay and that's your travel move dang i have something to help us but i would have to take an exhaustion oh no i know i can't do it uh, i'll do it fuck it i'll do it Shit. wait a minute uh, okay waiting, i have fo- i have I have Fox Instinct. Once per session, clear exhaustion when you use the cover of darkness to your advantage in a dangerous situation. Ooh. Hey, oh, you, are, you, you did 100%. that. Right? Yeah. So. Sick. Okay, then I will mark one exhaustion and give you another plus one because I have the Fox ability to take plus one to travel through the forest between clearings. Nice. Mark an exhaustion. Gotcha. Yeah. But I think nice. I can only do that once per session. But so still. it's a plus two now. So it's a plus two now, yes. and I have one exhaustion, one depletion. Whew, being sneaky helped me. <laughs> being sneaky. Way to go. Ooh, Way to catch that. I rolled a six and a five. It's 11. Nice. Plus, 11 plus two, so 13. That is a very big hit. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Uh, On a hit, you pass through the forest, Uh, say to the other side, along the way, one of you spots an interesting sight. You leave markers so you can return after you finish your trip. On a 10 plus, the transit is largely safe. Uh, yeah. So you're passing through the marshes um, every so often. Uh, it's, I mean, it's wet. There's no getting around it, right? Mm-hmm. Um, it, it, the whole way there, it's either just like you're, it's, you're, the water level is constantly shifting. You know, it's the direction you're heading, you're heading sort of, um, you're heading up, uh, you're, you're heading towards elevation, whatever. You're uh, elevating, sea level's going up. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Right. Um, but as soon as you get off the path, right, it's it's knee deep. You're waiting, like, waist deep at some points, but, like, eventually it, it starts to kind of clear out. Right, um, we'll say maybe midway through your journey, you come across. Let me see if there's anything on the map that. Uh, not your map, my map. That uh, we can call this. One of you will say, pick it random, Beatrice. You spot um, like a particularly deep pool among the marshes. It's darker. I uh, you think probably a sinkhole. Uh, you know, was created here at some point, making this like deeper pond pool, whatever you want to call it. And you can you sort of see a glimmer of something at the bottom. Pat, come on, man, move my whole laptop. Um, you can't quite make out what it is, um, but you can tell it's it's something metallic, maybe polished stone something very like you know like this it's catching the sun and glinting caught your eye but there's just some you know being marshes right there's a lot of like water grasses and things like growing that are kind of obstructed but you can tell definitely tell there's some good something good down there probably um but yeah you're able to to mark it easily enough that y'all could navigate navigate back here cool uh, at, at some point You, your journey is pretty eventless the rest of the way. Um, it is about an hour, hour and a half past sunset that you actually see the the crest of the hill where this cave is, right? Um, it's sort of hidden in this little what is the word? Cosp? Uh, Cops? Cops? Is that the word? Yeah, that is. I have only seen that word written. I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't either, actually. <laughs> I, I, I turned around the S and the P. Yeah, the <laughs> trees here. It's sort of like in a small crook between a couple of hills, right? Um, the entrance, yeah, being obstructed here. The land is drier. Uh, you've kind of come uphill a little bit. Mm. You haven't had the opportunity to like completely dry off, but it's at least better you're not like walking through water at this point, right? And 
you can spot a fox on the crest of the hill. Uh, right, right above, the, there's you can kind of see some something of an entrance to a cave. There looks to be a campsite um, there in the mouth of the cave as well. Uh, you can't quite make out how if there are others or if so how many. You can just tell this this fox is um, is on the is you know that has lookout duty is on watch. You. It's a it's a clear night and the moon is out and aside from these trees there's not much cover else out here right uh, it is the marshlands after all uh, at least you're probably made yourself made your way um, to the north end of it like if you if you were to climb this hill or go to the top of it you'd probably see the tree line of, of the forest hey, you know it's not like immediately there but like some ways off you'd be able to see it. At that point, right, uh, to the, further to the north, um, you, you sit and you watch for a while. This fox takes the hood off, this this hood off, and you see this sort of gray orange fur, um, somewhat older looking, not like not like uh, our waiter friend old, right, <laughs> but um. <laughs> a bit older maybe like a scar in the fur like right on the cheek right here the missing bit could um, you call him like a silver fox maybe not quite yeah no um <laughs> no not quite <laughs> appreciate the, the joke but no um not him not yet <laughs> someday <laughs> maybe if he lives if he survives this encounter well <laughs> you know we'll see um there's something strapped to his back and he sort of pulls it forward like this. You all can tell that it is Oops, sorry. Uh, just lost my train of thought because I was making sure I had something down right. It's because I made the silver fox joke. I'm so sorry. It wasn't no, you're, that. you're fine. It's me. I just, um, no, that was it. And I just not you. I was, I'm reading this thing. I'm like, oh, that was it. I just no, no, it, it wasn't. It's fine. It's my <laughs> no, whole... it was you. It's your fault. No. <laughs> no, it's my whole forgetting names thing. I was like, oh, I'm going to say this wrong. I look it up. And I'm like, no, I was going to say it right. I just uh, I just do that. Uh, this fox is on guard watching the forest. Hood goes down. Blitz, you can tell it's Larry. Even from, from you know, the, the distance. You You got good eyes. You're a youngin. Um, and yeah, just the description matches. And then he sort of unslings this crossbow. Uh, the way it glimmers, it catches the moonlight. There's no doubt in your mind that this is the shooting star. Oh, you're muted. You're muted. Blitz. You're muted. <laughs> yeah, cool. I was. I, I. I made a sound of a. And then I'm like, we're, we're in the we're in the trees, right? Like, right, right, like in the tr like trees of a clearing. Yeah, there's just trees between you and and uh, and this place that you're able to kind of like spot between, you know. And Blitz is Blitz is up in a tree, and he he yeah. has he has his mother's spear in his hand. He has it ripped tight in his hand and he sees his father's weapon and he doesn't care he's gonna take off into the sky straight up like a hawk does like an eagle does like a hawk does yep. in the night God. and he's just gonna come he's gonna fly up right above him and then drop down on top of him. Spear in the talons, just like full on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just absolutely. Just, just like let gravity take him down. Mm. This is fantastic. Yeah, from the rest of you, from your position, um, you know, you kind of see you. You don't have quite the the vantage that Blitz does, right? You can definitely you can definitely see someone's someone's on guard. 
uh, up on this hill. Um, maybe trying to get closer to it. You just hear like a like a disturbance up in the the mm-hmm. canopy of the trees, right? Uh, a swift just whoosh, it, and as you look up, you see kind of like a silhouette um, block the moonlight for a bit, and you just see yes, this majestic. Um, ornate hawk eagle you know the shape you know you see the wings fan you see the spear and then just like like a missile shooting down right right towards uh this cave and that is where we will leave it for the evening thank you very much everyone for joining us tonight we have been midnight in the marshes. It is too. Wow, how about that? Uh-huh. In the middle of the night, and we're out in the marshes. Uh, this has been episode two, a fox named Larry. And, um, yeah, that's what we'll call it. Um, again, thank you, thank you so much for joining us. This is genuinely very fun stream. Very excited to see where uh, our players will take us next time. Next time being two weeks from now, right here on the initial order. Please. Catch us. I have been Miguel. My pronouns have been and continue to be they, he. You can catch me on the internet wherever social medias are sold at Miguel underscore Classico. Um, I will be doing a one shot on the 23rd. I believe that's a Wednesday with um, Just the Human. Um, you can catch them up on Twitter. Um, it is a Pride One Shot will be fundraising for the Trevor Project. We're all playing level 20 D&D characters. I will be playing a mastermind rogue named Whisper. Um, let's check out everyone else, who they've been, what they're up to. Christian, kick us, kick us off again. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Bring it in. Hi, my name is Christian, aka Fluffy Goomba, on several socials, mainly on TikTok. You can also find me here on Twitch, several days, several games, several wonderful people. You can also find me on Thursdays on Roll for Dylan. That's R O double L number four D Y L A N for Vampire the Masquerades, Darkness Over New Orleans. And of course, you can find me on Total Party Kiss on Sundays uh, for Tragedy of Theologian, Greek Myth Inspired 5B campaign. Uh, my pronouns are he, him, and I have been Blitz Lombardi. Pronouns also he, him. Amazing. Awesome. Thank you so much. Let's kick it over to Isabel. Uh, hello, everyone. I am Isabel. You can find me all over the internet at, at Isabel is okay. Uh, my pronouns are they, she, he. And uh, you can find me over on Pluto Cleric's Twitch channel every first and third Monday for our Pathfinder game, Gods Among Mortals, where I play a buff orc sweetheart um out here trying to save the world and that entire campaign which is running for 20 sessions um we are fundraising for the trans empowerment project so check out the the link is on my twitter but also uh if you go to uh pluto cleric on twitch um you can uh catch up on our episodes and um donate to a really amazing uh group um and I think that that is it for me for right now. Yeah. Righteous. Awesome. Thank you so much. And let's kick it over to Sabina. Hey, I'm Sabina. Uh, I am on uh, Twitter, uh, Alfalfa Centauri. Um, and uh, I play Beatrice. Uh, we are both she, her. Um, and you can catch me, uh, when I'm not here on a actual play podcast called Two Monsters Rolling Dice. It is in the Fate Core system. It's got a supernatural Old West style, uh, setting and, uh, original sound and score. It's edited down to be, uh, somewhat audio book or, uh, audio drama-ish, uh, but we are actual playing. Core. Uh, it comes out on Wednesdays. Uh, again, the name Two Monsters Rolling Dice. Sounds awesome. Thank you very much. And Nate, take us home. Awesome, awesome. Uh, hey, everybody. Hopefully, my mic is working. I saw I was cutting in and out. So sorry about that, y'all. Hopefully, the text is fixed. If not, it is what it is. Uh, anyway, tonight I was playing Wrinkle Razor Tooth, pronouns he, him, like myself. 
Uh, if you're interested in following me anywhere, you can find me on Instagram at nride93, where I post just some stuff. Uh, you can also catch me back here on the Initiative Order tomorrow, where I will be in the Game Master seat for Simbarum. Uh, it is our long-term oh. campaign. We are on Season 2, Episode Running for a while. It's a great group. Fantastic. Uh, so we'll be here tomorrow, 12.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you want to check it out, we'd love to chat. Uh, aside from that, you can catch me lurking in our Discord, which, by the way, we have a Discord. Come hang out with us. We run free-to-play monthly community games uh, where you can check out all kinds of different systems and meet all kinds of wonderful players in the community. Uh, we also host our open calls there, so if you're interested in streaming with us, participating in a future project, please come um, hang out with us, fill out a form. We want to meet you. We want to play games with you. Uh, and last thing I want to shout out is we have two wonderful folks who have been a part of our channel who are nominated for crit awards. First one being our fantastic game master who just disappeared, Miguel. Uh, <laughs> super, super excited for him. We also have one of our series, uh, The Mystery of Hollow Creek, which is an awesome series uh, that was GM'd and written by my partner, actually, Brianna Flame. So her and her crew check that out uh go vote crit awards we'd love to see the support out there uh and if you want to catch up on that uh, nominated series or any of our other stuff we've had miguel in several projects as well as some of these other folks here uh check out our youtube page all of our past streams are on there so all that good stuff i think that's everything i've got so thank you all so so much for sticking around yeah i'm not sure if you're still there or not but i'm assuming we will just see you all back here in two weeks Thank you. See ya.